Hey folks, uh, Steve here. Just wanted to shoot a video on thinning out the trailer, kind of leaning the trailer, if you will, on um, making the trailer a little bit more lean. So I'm going to look through uh, the drawers, see uh, what tools I have multiples of, and what I don't need multiples of. Or if I have five, can I get away with three? If I have three, can I get away with one? Um, just uh, cull the herd a little bit, if, if, if you will. So that's all this is, is I'm going to see what I can do. Now, there was one give me right off the bat. I was actually doing it last night, which gave me the idea for this video here. And that is right here. So, where's the camera? There's the camera. So this box, of, or this bin of uh, box wrenches, and all of these came out of my grandfather-in-law's tool shed. And he had a lot of tools. Uh, they were, you know, handyman, homeowner kind of tools. Uh, but, you know, it's, I defy you. Um, other than, you know, if you're using these things every day, do you really need a professional set that, sp that costs $1,000? Or can you get away with a $100 set from Home Depot? Most of us, I think, can get away with a $100 set unless you're repairing cars all day or if you're working on machines all day as a millwright. So um, I, I inherited a lot of stuff. I've already called that out quite a bit, but I had this and I just threw it in one of my drawers and I was opening a drawer last night and saw this and went, you know, I really have never gone into this in the six months it's been sitting in a drawer. I can't imagine I will because down here, I have a, uh, a, a whole brand new set of quarter up to seven eighths. I have metric sizes in one of my socket kits. And then I think I have a stubby set of both metric and English. And so, you know, I have the normal sizes of anything I'm going to run into. And none of these are exceptionally big or exceptionally small to where it's going to be that one unique thing that you need. It's not in here. And so I thought this gave me the idea, you know, can I look through my drawers and just start removing things? You know, are there things that I just do not need? And so that's all tonight is about. I will, if I can figure out a way, I'll either time lapse it because I'm still very new at video editing. Uh, if I can time lapse it and I can zip around, you know, at, at ultra, light speed, ultra light speed, then I will. And you can see the entire process. Otherwise, I'll just kind of flash in and out a little bit, uh, and then I'll just show you all the tools that I was able to get out of here. All right, well, there you go. That's that's the video. I'm going to let this play while I go play in there, and we'll see what I can call it. Extra tools. Do I need them? I'm a goofball. So all of these are just metric sockets. Uh, they go from four millimeters up to, in this case, in this case, I think 17. And by just cross-checking with a kit that I have, I have four and a half all the way up through 19 actually. So these are all extra. And I believe I have even some of these metrics in a small Husky kit uh, that I'm very fond of. And so these are all extras. They don't need to be in here. And it's a pound. So the, tra the trailer's lighter, it loves it. I'm not max weight yet, but if I keep doing this stuff, I'm going to be over max weight. So, one pound. Okay, it might not seem like much, but it took a while to do this to thin out several drawers. So what do I have here? So, a lot of screwdrivers. Just had many, many repeats of Flathead and Phillips. And I still kept a pretty good selection, but there you go. I had an extra flat bar. I had two of those. Plus, there's one in my apron, so I had three in the trailer. So I'm going to donate one. 
had an old hammer. Uh, that's a hammer of my dad's, I think, from way back. So I will keep that. I'm not going to donate that anywhere. But I'll clean it up and then just use it in my shed. Uh, of course, I already showed you all of the box end wrenches. I have pretty much a whole... I, I don't know if you'd say complete, but a nearly complete socket set. One of those stubby socket ratchet or, or stubby ratchets, full size ratchet, nut driver, various punches, small screwdriver, uh, some stub outs. I had, I think I in the trailer I still have something like eight stub outs, four that look like that with a cap, and I have four with valves on them, so I can actually open up, let water run, things like that, get air out of line. Um, a variety of adjustable wrenches, channel locks, things like that, uh, an old set of vice grips, I had a specialty wrench in there, here's one of those basket wrenches, underneath that you see a several, several Allen key sets, uh, most of my dad's, so I'll keep those, but I, you know, I have so many multiples, and down here, um, uh, have a screwdriver set that I just don't need, so there you go. And I was able to grab a power tool. This is a belt sander of mine. It's a Black & Decker that I have had for ages and ages, and it runs well. But I do have a like a $300 Bosch that is in my trailer now. And so this is just a little bit superfluous at this point. And that'll free up a little cubby for one of my, you know, for a power tool. So anyway, it doesn't look like much, but that is thinning out the herd, and the drawers look a little bit better. Let me show you. So here's one drawer that is really looking a lot better. Uh, just very little, very little in it at this point. So I am impressed with that lean out of this drawer. And this is the other drawer that actually uh, leaned out quite well. Uh, I still have several screwdrivers you can see over there on the left, and I do have a small selection of kind of specialty, small, odd-sized drivers, plus a couple of really large screwdrivers. I do have still one kit, and that's kind of like a micro kit of screwdrivers. Uh, a couple of very large wrenches. I was going to clean out the chisels, but I will say when you run into chisels, it's nice to be able to grab a sharp chisel. And so I have many, many chisel there, many chisels there, and all of them have been recently sharpened. So I'm going to leave all of those. Um, I cleaned out my files. Uh, I took out probably five files, and what I have left is more than what I need. I have two more or less complete sets of Allen keys. I keep that jar right there for spares. And that is my dad's. It says L-E-S somewhere, Lawrence Eugene Spencer. And so I just kept that in there for good measure, just to say that I had something of his in my trailer. Um, but anyway, so this drawer, and uh, you can see, of course, there's a space there, really nothing there. And this actually was, was full of a lot of odds and ends. So that's gone. This drawer saw a little bit of thinning out. Uh, not much, but a few things came out of here. Beyond that, um, just uh, I think that's all the thinning out that I've done. Those are the drawers that I attend to where I know I had extra stuff. And so it, it's it's a decent start. It's a, it's a decent start. I'm happy with that. And I will continue because there is some organization. I've got, I know I have a million, you know, quote unquote, a million drill bits. I have tons and tons of drill bits. Can they be thinned out? Probably I could maybe buy a third, you know, take out a bunch of drill bits. And, you know, why not? Um you know, what else could I thin out? I don't know. But, you know, those are types of things, you know, uh, that I can thin out. So we'll see. You know, thinning out goes on. Hey, thank you very much.